All right, step number one is to remove the paneling wall board that came in the trailer. But we're leaving the floor. Leaving the floor and leaving the, the, the ceiling. ceiling. Okay, so the next step was to cut a hole in the front of the trailer for the air conditioning unit to go through. And then we added some braces that we will be able to attach the air conditioning unit framing to. Um, and then additional braces to try to square up the front of the trailer so that when we apply the foam board, we have a relatively flat surface to glue it to. So this next step is painting all of the wood material with the special kills because we want to create a barrier so that there is not any opportunity for moisture to get into the styrofoam into the insides of the cooler so we're just trying to create that create a nice seal okay so next step is adding two layers of two inch foam board in order to start the insulation that will create an entirely uh, boxed in insulated room um, we're separating the plastic cap from these tiny little nails and then putting them on these large wood to metal screws so that it will hold the first layer of styrofoam attaching it to the metal cup. Okay, so with the first layer of the foam board attached to the wall, we apply the HVAC tape on top of the seams to create just an, an extra added protection barrier and try to keep it nice and sealed up. So we add that tape and then we will add the second layer of foam board on top of the first, um, just applying that with the liquid nails glue in between. Next step is to apply the FRP, which is the plastic paneling that covers the insulation to form a good vapor barrier, a sealed area. So we will cut the pieces of FRP panel to cover the insulation and they will be applied to the insulation with the very special FRP adhesive, which we apply with a very thick, um, a thick layer of that adhesive so that the panels will stick to the insulation. And in between the panels go uh, center and corner strips that hold it all together. So the floor will need to be coated with either the water repellent um, paint or you can cover it in the vinyl, um, a vinyl covering. Then the last step is to install the air conditioning unit through the hole that we already cut and we will then attach the cool bot unit which allows the air conditioning unit to cool to the proper temperature and this will be powered by an extension cord in this example because this trailer will be primarily stationary or you could apply or you could add a generator to the trailer that would power the cooler while you were at market or out on farm.